live and direct, man. Sensor Road, man. West Lake with the water boys in the hood. You dig what I'm saying? You know, we just got through, man, putting work in, you know what I mean? Big things, some more things, you understand that? Hey, look, man, ain't nothing to do but, you know, come out and support the young men trying to do something constructive, you know what I'm saying? Longer they handle themselves like being the men, I told them I'm going to rock with them, you dig? And they got they, they, they got their own they own trademark, water boys in the hood. They selling merch out here, you understand that? And, you know, they run a legitimate building, man, and I support that, you dig what I'm saying? So when y'all see them, man, fuck with them, you understand? Tell them, tell them your website. Instagram at Water Boys in the Hood. Come tap in with us. We got website, all that up. Documentary right now. You did. Water Boys in the Hood. Yeah. And then, man, you know what I'm saying? My man right here, man, you know what I'm saying? He got them. He want, he came and asked for a job at the motherfucking museum and we put him on. We put you did. You did. You did. Yeah. Hey, y'all, what's up with it, man? It's your boy, Boss. And, uh, you know, I want to start, you know what I'm saying, real fast just by saying, you know, salute to y'all. Salute to y'all. You know, a lot of things go on in the media and they attempt to slander our names and try to ruin our reputations by allegations and nonsense. Man, salute the T.I. Salute the T.I. You know, in the history, and the reason why I wanted to speak on this video is because not too long ago, Meek Mill, and it's not a diss to our brother Meek Mill, um, a lot of love for Meek Mill, a lot of love to Meek Mill, however, you know, I want to just let this be a learning moment. This is a learning moment. You know what I'm saying? When you see, I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're located. When you see young black men attempt to do something positive and productive financially, it is our duty as black men, as black leaders, as black anybody, as black women, as black sisters, nieces, nephews, uncles, fathers, grandfathers. It is our job to assist and help that young brother out. And this is just my stance on it. Some may feel different. And that's totally fine. But I'm going to push the narrative. Do you really know how hard it is? To come from nothing, to have very little to no resources, and you attempt to reach out to somebody who is worth millions, and they deny you, and watch this, and they look just like you, this is referring to Meek Mill. So when I see T.I. and his son going back to the neighborhood where they're from, and there are young brothers out there who is also selling water and presenting themselves correctly. Salute the T.I. And, and, and I just want to be, and again, this is not a, a jab at Meek Mill. Maybe something was going on with Meek Mill that day, but I want this to be a learning lesson for all brothers, for all sisters, for any and everybody who is watching. When people are out here in tough situations and they are trying their best to genuinely, pr I mean, produce a product, that can be beneficial to the economy and they're trying to come up and you know for a fact they can use your contribution. It is our job, man. Ain't none of us got to where we're at 100% because of us. We got to where we're at because of our network, because the people around us, for the majority of us, it wasn't even about what we know. It was more about who we knew that got us to where we're at today in 2021. How dare we? So I just wanted this to be a learning lesson to the Meek Mills of the world. Again, salute to our brother Meek Mill. But this is what you do. When young black men and women, but in this scenario, when young black men are out here trying to make things and do things the right way and coming at you with the best of what they're able to do, it is our job to promote, push, leverage, do whatever. I don't care if it's us giving them a dollar. I don't care if it's us giving them $5, $10. If that's all you have to give, then by all means, give what you can give. But when you're a known millionaire, when you're somebody in the you know in the environment who 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 who, who brags about going to strip clubs and throwing thirty thousand dollars at a strip uh, at a strip club, but have a hard time with giving the young man 25, 35, 40 bucks. Respectfully, Antoine, don't don't rock with that. And respectfully, Antoine has a problem with that. So I want to be able to give his flowers while he's still here. Salute to the brother T.I. 
salute to this, man. And we need more brothers to follow the lead. Let's start, you know, bragging about, and it may sound, it may sound cocky, but what I mean is, I would much rather a black man brag about helping people. I would much rather see a fellow black man brag about helping a sister, helping an old lady cross the street, even if a camera is in his face, because on the reverse side of it, I'm very much fed up with us bragging about how much money we, how much money we throw in a strip club. How much money we, how, how much money we, we made off destroying our own environments. You know what I'm saying? We have to grow up one day. One day we got to grow up. So, so salute to T.I. This is great. I love it. I rock with it. I love it, homeboy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Like, hands down, point blank, period. And for anybody watching, take notes regardless of what you're able to give. When you see somebody that look like you who is genuinely trying, help them, period. Boss out.